Hey Bears, Eric here. You might be surprised to find out that Melanie Mack has said something really stupid. Who am I kidding? Of course she said something stupid. This is Melanie Mack we're talking about. All right, so this video is 15 minutes long. It's about Stellar Blade. Let's jump into it. All right, here we go. So we've already seen IG in France disrespect the creator of Stellar Blade by saying, mm, has he ever seen what a woman looks like? Which I made a video about that already. We're not going to watch that video, but I find it funny they use the word disrespect or they use something like attack when it's someone on the left, someone progressive, someone who's looking for diversity, whatever. When it's someone in that space, it's always attack or disrespect. But when it's somebody on the right, somebody right-leaning, somebody conservative, somebody in this space, whenever they say something like that to a creator or to the fans, it's always like we're expressing free speech or you're just getting triggered because it's the truth. It's this weird framing they, they do a lot. And um, I'm becoming more and more aware of it as I watch their content. It's, it's, a very, it's like they just slide it in and they run with it and they don't get called out on it. I'm, I'm going to start calling them out on it. Ready. But now he has a complete meltdown. IGN meltdown. then has to make an apology. It's a giant mess. Let's go ahead and dive into this now. This comes to us from Grums. He says, of IGN course. France, editor in chief, melts down. This whole Grums thing is weird. Like this person is just literally obsessed with, with tracking people down and being a cancel pig. Uh, for all of these people. It's really funny. Like, why is it a cancel pig thing when it's somebody progressive, but when it's somebody on the right doing it, it's not. It's just, again, this double standard is so obvious. It is so obvious. Oh, no. Stellar Blade is literally unaliving women. Yes, this is this is what is up. So we got a translation here. But here is the original post from Erwin Laflorial. I can't read French, but here we have a translation. All right. He answered, yes, no problem. Go tell that to the women who are hit, killed, denigrated, or who unalive themselves because they cannot live up to the fictional standards expected by men. Is there a singular case of this happening at all? I mean, you have Google open. You could use it. You could use it and look it up. Uh, let's see where you go with this. Oh, even one? <laughs> like... I, I can't say that I've ever heard of even one case where right because you would be the you would be the person who collects and stores that information right like since you haven't heard of it clearly it's not happening uh, so we're just gonna move on from that are you are you gonna are you gonna open up another tab and talk about a this woman at all? said oh I can't be as beautiful as this video game character and so there we go there goes the end of my life haven't ever seen that at all not to mention actual unaliving statistics I mean men. Oh, oh, you want some unaliving statistics. Okay, let's do it. Here we go. Toxic beauty standards lead to unaliving thoughts, knowing the world solicits different cultures and people who are different as chalk and cheese. Man-made aesthetic norms of beauty exhort them to compare whether Asian or Western in modern days. Many women feel envious of the beauty of others. They have a proclivity to compare their appearance to that of others. All of these negative thoughts and pressure subsequently lead to unaliving thoughts. Statistics on unaliving thoughts due to body image revealed that about 10% of women have hurt themselves because of body dissatisfaction. And about 13% of adults have developed unaliving thoughts and feelings after going into a long distressed state. You might say, Eric, well, this is one article. Is there something else that we could look at? Yes, there is. Here's another article providing information on this. How much does poor body image affect mental health? And we scroll down here. The figures revealed to coincide with body image theme of National Mental Health Awareness Week follow a YouGov poll of 4,505 UK adults. It found that 57% of those numbers, 18 to 24-year-olds surveyed to admit to have feeling anxious because of their body image compared with 30% of 45 to 54-year-olds and 20% of over 55s. Some 10% of women have deliberately hurt themselves because of their body image compared to 4% of men. Okay, there we go. At the same time, 13% of adults admit to have experienced uh, unaliving thoughts or feelings because of their body image. It says, and although the sample uh, of people from the LGBT plus community was small, 39% of those who experienced these thoughts identify as bi, and 23% identified as gay or lesbian. So there's some actual numbers that Melanie didn't bother to look up that show that not only is she just completely oblivious to this actually being a thing, but she's also misunderstanding the way it occurs compared to men and women, even though in her video, she says the exact opposite. This is why this kind of stuff is super important for people that watch these videos, because the people that are doing this are being completely disingenuous and have nothing to back up anything they're saying. And the people that watch them typically don't care. They don't want the truth. Anyway, let's get back to Melanie Mack and her lies. On aliving statistics, I mean, men by a large margin unalive themselves way more than women. Right, but you're not pulling up any numbers, and I just did. So, uh, usually, 
it's from things like loneliness or I'll talk about things that have happened recently. I mean, even look at how like the cancel pigs come after people and people. People have unalived themselves over that. I So again, with the cancel pigs thing. So what is different about what you folks are doing to the people that are saying this, harassing them, coming after them? What is fundamentally different about that and people who are calling out the stuff that they don't like in video games and media? Because there's no difference in that. Like ultimately the material harm that comes from that is exactly the same. So then you start talking about what's existing in your vacuum, your echo chamber, and how that's different. And you could talk, argue about those things, but those things are not the end result of what's happening. So you keep saying cancel pig, but that's exactly what you guys want. You want to cancel stuff too. So let's not pretend that you're not falling on the opposite side of the spectrum in the exact same spot that the cancel pigs are falling in, uh, because it is. Even remember a woman, uh, she was like some host of Love Island or something like that, if I remember correctly. You guys can correct me in the comments, perhaps, uh, for the same thing, getting canceled online. How about if you're going to make a sweeping statement about that? We're not talking about when a movie is released. We're not talking about uh, the uh, Rotten Tomato score. We're talking about statistics on people who have done harm to themselves. And if you're going to do that and make a video where you're, the entire point of your video is to discredit a journalist who has made these statements, then it falls on your shoulders to provide information, at least some information, to show that you have done research before you jump on and start trying to discredit them. So how about you do that instead of letting your comment section do that? Or, I don't know, don't use the example at all. And unaliving herself. So typically it tends to revolve around uh, being sort of rejected by society or peers or... Um... And what would that rejection come from? What would that rejection come from? If we're talking about somebody's beauty, what would cause them to get rejected for not being attractive enough? Would it be, I don't know, media presenting people in a certain way to tell you that this is what attractive is? Could that be the case? I don't know, maybe, possibly, since you're arguing about like... Uh, standardize uh, beauty expectations. Just being lonely. That seems to be the bigger case, not so much of, oh no, I can't look like a video game character. Okay, so let's continue. The problem is not the sexy design itself, except that it sucks compared to others, but hey, that doesn't matter. <laughs> the shade, he's gotta be snarky. But the percentage of males who will only- Like you don't do that? I mean, you do it all the time. Why is it okay for you to do that, but not for this person to do that? Again, double standards want this type of fictional body in reality obviously we understand that this does not shock people who think okay wait let me just stop right there the percentage they're acting like this dude is acting like this is going to be an actual problem i mean it is an actual problem beauty expectations in media has been a problem for a long time there's been tons and tons and tons of studies on them matter of fact i just showed you one where they studied it uh, recently i think it was like a couple years ago when that study was done um that it does affect people mentally but you're not going to look it up. Even though you have several tabs open, you're not going to look any of that up. When we're talking about specific body types, exaggerated body types, this and that, I mean, that's been a thing in animation and video games for a very long time. I Which is why there's been lots of studies done on how it affects people. <laughs> can't think of one, again, one singular case where a guy is like, nah, I'm not going to date real women because I can't find a real woman that looks as good as an anime woman or a video game woman. That it's not, so you're being reductive on, you're either too stupid, which is probably the reality of it, or you're being reductive on purpose. It's not just this design. It's, and this person says that the problem is not the sexy design itself. It is not just this individual design in this individual game. It is a overall problem in the industry, the standards in the industry. So we're talking like Sports Illustrated. We're talking like any of the uh, magazines that and movies that put women up there in these unrealistic body types uh, that are edited to look a certain way. And this is something, they, these magazines have been called out on it. They've been called out on it before about manipulating with face tuning, uh, photoshopping. This has been an issue for a while. It's been a problem. Like this, this is not something you have to even look up. It is just a known thing. So you're being completely disingenuous here. That, that, that doesn't, that's not the case. I mean, you see, when you typically see in society, most people in general in society are not fit. That's just the reality. That's a whole other discussion. I mean, it shouldn't be that way, but it is what it is. So anybody who usually is going this route of, I'm just going to stick with my video games who needs real women in this case. Yeah, it's not these hunky dudes that are going to be, that all these girls want. Okay, so is it not happening? 
because you said that, that you that it's not happening. Your first statement was it's not happening. And now you're saying that it is happening, but it's the guys that are unattractive that are saying that. So now you are applying, you're not only contradicting your statement you just made like a minute ago, but now you're applying those unfair standards of beauty to the men who would find those women attractive in video games. So are you attacking the fans now? Are you attacking the fans? Are you coming after the fans at this point? Um, you're contradicting yourself and you're admitting that it's happening. And you're also attacking the beauty standards of the people who are playing the games and would like the women to look this way in video games. It's it's a whole barrel of mess. They're not, they, these girls are not missing out. Uh, <laughs> same thing with the girls who do similar things. Oh, they're just going to read their romance novels and they're, I don't need a man. Trust me, those are usually the 300. Why would I trust you? You haven't provided any real information in this video. We're four minutes into this video and you've yet to pull up anything to back up your claims. So it so it literally is, trust me, bro, trust me, sis. Is that what it is? Just just believe what I'm saying? Yeah, I'm not, I don't trust you, Melanie Matt, because you're a liar and you're ignorant. Pound. Yeah, but like, dudes aren't missing out. Trust me. Uh, people can perfectly disconnect reality from art. And I'm telling you, <laughs> nobody expects to find someone who looks like an exaggerated character. In but you just gave examples of people who do and then said that they're too unattractive to worry about. So is are they actually not, is, is it not a thing that's happening or is it happening and only ugly people are participating in it? Which one is it, Melanie? The people that the people that follow her, if you're in my comment section and you follow her, how can you continue to support this? This sounds really stupid in a video game male or female all right let's continue uh that women are objects who must obey and be beaten uh, am i missing something is it a thing in stellar blade where you beat the main character is that part of the yeah i mean the enemies beat up the main character that's that's what happens in the game um it's she is an avatar uh with sex appeal that people play and she gets beaten up i mean you can take that however you want to take it but that's what happens it's a video game right the gameplay <laughs> did i miss out on that uh this design makes us sigh and roll our eyes and we laugh at anyone who needs it man or woman but that's it this the certainly clashing remark in the text which targets the entire creative process dude it's it's fun it's beautiful to look at it's i think there's a disconnect for people who don't even play video games and and, and being an editor-in-chief of ign i would expect that he doesn't play video games <laughs> because like journalists and all that you know, used to back in the day, people got these jobs because they were passionate about video games, but now they're run by a lot of activists and they don't care about games. People who I got, uh, 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 this is going to be a big surprise to a lot of people who are watching this, I guess, but people can be more than one thing, <laughs> right? I can be someone who plays games. I can be an activist. I can be somebody that likes fashion. I can be somebody who uh, supports different communities. I can be someone who is also an asshole. Like people are more than one thing. They're not just one thing. And they keep saying stuff like this and it doesn't make any sense because melanie mack is an activist for her causes but she's also a gamer so she is actively trying to promote and support christianity things like that but she also plays video games but if i were to say well you know the, there used to be gamers but now they're just activist christians like are you not still a gamer at that point like i'm not saying that melanie mack's not a gamer but i could totally frame it like that if i wanted to based on her criteria here actually play video games people who actually watch anime so on and so forth uh, it's an art form it's nice to look at that's it what except for the fact that you and a lot of other people in your space have been using this game as a weapon to attack people who are woke you have actively been making videos after videos after videos not just you to be fair a lot of people in the space are actively making videos to make it seem like people who are woke don't like stellar blade because the lead character looks like a blow-up doll I don't care. Most woke people do not care. Yes, there's outliers like this that are going to call it out, and I think that's fine, but I don't care. I really, truly do not care. <laughs> and a lot of people that I know who are progressive don't care. But you guys keep using it. You keep trying to use this game as a weapon in your culture war. Um, okay. Why would you not want to have this idealized version? Why, why, not? why would you not want to escape from reality and be like, let's look at these characters that look unbelievably beautiful or handsome 
in these games or in these comics or in this and that. Why Why not? It's just- There's nothing wrong with that. There's absolutely nothing wrong with that. And I think this idea that everyone feels that there is something wrong with it is hyperbole. Escape from real life. Not only that, but again, nobody's projecting this onto real life. If you were to see a lot of like anime character proportions, for example, male or female characters in real life, it would look really weird. Uh, it just would usually. So is it beautiful or is it weird? Which one is it, Melanie? Because a minute ago you were saying that it's like this, this beautiful thing. And now you're saying that it would look weird. Um, people go out and do cosplay i've seen lots of people who try to achieve the standard of anime and manga in real life and i think they do a good job at it clearly it's it's not going to look exactly the same uh but there's a lot of creative people who have made it work and i don't think it's weird or ugly in real life um i think it's just again it's just a uh a, a case of your taste when it comes to what you prefer in art uh, so it's an art style it's creative it's cool looking. Not, I mean, Eve in particular was cool, modeled after a sexy. real like, woman. You keep Granted, your mind. They definitely altered and added a, an artistic element to it, but I think that's a good thing. I don't, I don't play video games just for a reality simulator. I can look at the real world uh, any time. <laughs> you know? Except you've made videos before about Tomb Raider, um, other game, Mortal Kombat, where you have tried to compare the looks of a video game character to someone who is beautiful. Uh, let's go to Mortal Kombat, matter of fact. You made a video. I've covered the video. I don't even remember if it's still up on my channel. Where you tried to compare the the real-life actor, this woman, to the video game version of this woman. And you tried to frame it as if she's attractive in real life, but she's not attractive in the game. And therefore, they made her ugly in the game. And that doesn't reflect her in real life. So you yourself have made this comparison before. You have done it before. If you go to Melanie Mac's channel, look up her Mortal Kombat videos. It's right there. I'm not going to pull it up here. You can find it yourself. But she has absolutely done this. Um, and this is not a trust me, sis, trust me, bro situation because the video is still up on her channel. No, but that's just me. All right. Not necessarily a specific designer or or the game director, this is obvious to anyone who knows a little French, only has this impact because a good portion of gamers have become too fragile due to being fed the patriarchy. A uh, man wrote days? Uh, to, oh, I, I can't use my favorite slur. What a f Oh my gosh. Oh, the F slur. The F slur. She admits that it's a slur. She just said it's a slur. Now, she's argued that it's not in the past, that it's just a word that people use, but she's now admitting that it's a slur. Glad to have that saved here on video of you saying that. Let's see where she goes with this. Beta Boy does not like it. Beta Boy is mad that there are tragic characters. Okay, so IGN does offer an apology after the insults, right? So let me get right to the meat of this because I have more stuff I want to talk about. We're but, not going to listen um, to anything else. Just, yeah, this is where the author Once was saying, yeah, this, you know, uh, the designer has obviously never seen a real woman, blah, blah, blah. And this is the thing, too, is they always uh, – lately what you're seeing is they're defending Bayonetta, 2B. And, oh, well, 2B was just inspired by cosplayers. Dude, don't even play like y'all weren't against that. Like y'all weren't like crying and complaining about 2B's design. Now it's like, oh, but it's it's okay because she's inspired by cosplayers. Really? Really? Y'all are taking that stance now? You're backpedaling and pretended like you've always supported her? Melanie Mac, you are the queen of backpedaling. The absolute queen. The last person that should be trying to chastise anybody about backpedaling is you because you have stepped over your words. In this video, you backpedaled twice that I'm counting in my head about body image. You're the queen of backpedaling. The last thing you need to complain about is someone else doing it as if you don't do it yourself. Give me a break. Design, that's not even been the case. Same with Bayonetta. Oh, but she has an iconic character design. This, it's just, yeah. It, it won't surprise me if later in the future the same people complaining about Eve right now are going to pretend like they have have been supporting her the entire time. Because this is exactly what they're doing with Tubi and Bayonetta. All right, so here they said... Recently, IG in France produced and published a preview of Stellar Blade containing an offensive passage that should never have been included. The text has now been modified, and here's our official apology to the staff at Shift Up Corporation, wrote the outlet. Also, please note that IG in France is an independent branch of IGN, and that IGN's editorial staff had nothing to do with this incident. Okay, the original text of the Stellar 
Killer Blade preview contained statements that were out of place. They added, while it was never our intention to disrespect either Shift Up or any of its employees or their work, we recognize that the sentence taken in its literal sense was out of place and we regret it. And then they concluded for anyone at Shift Up Corporation who felt personally targeted and insulted by this passage, we are truly sorry and apologize profusely. Okay. So they they addressed the situation. They They went in and said, hey, this was an editorial piece. We are not... We're not saying that this is the, the feeling of the whole staff, of the whole company. We're an IGN. We're separate from the main division, et cetera, et cetera. So they, they made sure that that was very obviously done in a way that uh, that let the creators know that this was not a statement met, made on behalf of IGN. And that's fine. That's fine. It's an editorial piece. I don't see an issue with that. All right. Well, I apologized at least. <laughs> but I mean, any like I said, Anybody who likes video games, it's fun to have an escape. There is nothing about having a beautiful character here that is degrading to women or that makes me want to unalive myself. Like, I, I don't need to look like... Well, congratulations. You're not one of those people who feels that way. Um, okay, work. Work, sis, I guess. I don't know. I'm fine. I am happy to play a character that looks like this. It's not making me want to unalive myself. I can... All right, I think we've had enough of Melanie Mac so far. Um, I can't really sit through her videos like I used to. This is the kind of stuff that I've come to expect from Melanie Mac. Melanie Mac, again, is either really stupid, it's up for debate, I guess, she might be, or she is purposely disingenuous or she doesn't bother to research anything she talks about. A large portion of her audience will defend her like a lot of these larger channels to come into my comment section and have something to say about this. They will defend these people knowing full well that these people are being disingenuous. They will defend these people to, to fault, even though they provide no information for what they're saying. Um, they're an echo chamber for all of these thoughts. They don't pull up any statistics. They don't do any of that stuff. I proved in this video that Melanie Mack did not research anything she was using to discredit the claims of this editorial piece that was put online. And so this is this is where we are with these folks. This is where we are. This is why we call them grifters. This is why we call them scammers because they are only here to exist to generate money, to funnel money to themselves from getting on camera and pushing a narrative, pushing an agenda. And, and they do this while they pretend like everybody on the left has some insidious thing, but they're funneling money into their bank accounts from ad revenue and from people that are willing to tip them to say the thing, to do the thing. And if you're willing to do that, that's your money. A fool can part with their money however they want. But I'm telling you right now, these people do not have the best interest of anybody in mind. They're not changing anything. They're not doing anything. They're actively getting on camera and just repeating your bias and repeating the things that make you feel good about being hateful towards other people and continuing to oppress people. And that's just how it is. But here's something that is actually happening. If you wanna make a difference, if you wanna fuck up the algorithm to the point where these folks can no longer hijack the search feature on YouTube where you type in something and one of these hateful videos shows up at the top. You're looking up the, the uh, trailer for Stellar Blade and you immediately see someone like Melanie Mack at the top spouting off some sort of uh, propaganda shit. If you wanna disrupt that system and make it more difficult for them to actually get out nonsense like this, then join the revolution, subscribe to my channel, look at my description box, subscribe to all those channels and let's make a difference. Let's actively change YouTube for the better by offering more search opportunities for channels that are not spouting off all of this bigotry and hatred, misogyny, all of those things that they love to talk about and act as if it's not a problem. It absolutely is. And we're already seeing the changes now. The algorithm is having trouble. It's affecting some of the channels. If you would like to take part in that and be a part of that change, subscribe now, leave a like and leave a comment down below. And that's it. I will see everyone next time and uh, take care.